Welcome to Bitmovin's Video Tech Trends mini series. This series covers perspectives, experiences, and advice from professionals in the video streaming industry. Today, I'm joined by Cedric Monnier, CEO at OCAS TV, a leading OTT white label solutions provider that allows content owners or distributors to quickly and simply deploy their video streaming platforms. Thanks for joining me today, Cedric. Hi, Josh. Thanks for the invitation. Very happy to be here today. Well, today I'd like to ask you some questions surrounding one of the top video tech trends that Bitmovin discovered in our annual video developer survey, as well as in conversations with clients and partners like yourself. Uh, and that trend is that there is no longer a norm in VOD monetization models. So if you're ready, let's let's get this kicked off, and uh, I'm really excited for for what we what we're going to sure. talk about today. Sure. So you you said our, our core business is really to uh, build the video platforms for our customers, and this market started a couple of years ago with our uh, beloved Netflix and the subscription model, and it really raised the bar and set new uh, usages in the market. It was five or six years ago. Now we have Disney Plus, we have a lot a lot of services from the tier one to middle and small size and so on. So the market is crowded, really crowded. And we see with our customers that the subscription was uh, maybe the starting point, but now we, we need to find different ways because it's complicated. We saw that during the COVID, you know, people had to do some savings so subscription, it means every month you have to pay for something. So uh, does it worth it really or not? So it was tough for a lot of people. And uh, that's why we saw different models coming, new or back. Transaction, for example, we used to call that PPV, you know, uh, decades ago, a uh, pay-per-view, right? And, and so now we call it transaction. But uh, how can we makes things a little bit more flexible and interesting to keep having people staying and other people coming. And we think it's really a question of creativity today. A lot of tools are here, but you have to be creative. Let's talk a little bit more about the actual current trends and how it's developing. And if you could tell me Aside from the specific business model itself, where it's SVOD versus AVOD versus TVOD, how, how do you see the formats and value propositions of the various streaming organizations changing today? Yeah. So advertisement always been there. Uh, took some time to come to our TV as connected TVs or OTT for different uh, sometimes regulation uh, issues or whatever. Uh, it's extremely attractive because you don't pay anything, and, but you have to watch some advertisements. It used to work for decades on broadcast because you have massive audience immediately across the country and you have a lot of uh, people and brands ready to do that. And it's up and running for 70 years. So it's a uh, casual and usual business. On internet versus OTT, it's quite new. So obviously you have YouTube doing that for a couple of years. It took them quite a lot of years to make that a decent business with advertisement. So advertisement, on the market today is here, and, but not proving it. And we see different uh, ways of doing that. Maybe you heard about this new linear channel that you can find on different connected TVs where you have advertisement. So it's a bit of the old channels you used to have on your boxes, but now it's on TVs, connected TVs, and you have then again advertisement, you don't pay for it. That's a big trend. We see a lot of people going there. You have big manufacturers like uh, Samsung, for example, launching in US as uh, Samsung TV Plus with a lot of channels there advertised. And we, we see the figures. It's, let's say, it's almost decent. So it's a new ecosystem. So I think it's really a new ecosystem which is setting up today. 
with the all incumbents from uh, broadcasters and big brands coming to our uh, jungle <laughs> internet, you know, and trying to find their marks. Price can't be the same, you know, the CPM, the cost per minute for uh, an ad, can't be the same than on TV. It's not the same economy. So how do you play with that and so on? So it's a um, very fascinating uh, uh, situation today because we are re duplicating or replicating something that used to work in a new environment. That's a big trend. Subscription is still there and makes a lot of sense. But as I, I was saying just before, it's more and more difficult to grab people. So ads is one way, but it's you know a bit of the opposite because you can mingle things, but it's very difficult to mingle subscription with uh, advertised. Usually you do more freemium than ad to. So, but it's also how you do educate your, uh, your viewers. So uh, I, I would say it's a work in progress with this advertisement uh, coming up and different other things uh, about uh, uh, how I can really get these big sponsors and the brands to this ecosystem where attention is really different than the one you have on a regular TV set with a broadcast uh, channel. Yeah, and I think one of the other things that you brought up in a separate conversation was in the modern environment, in these particular scenarios, you're often getting, consumers are getting bored of the ads that they're seeing because it becomes repetitive and it's not yeah. as well targeted. And I thought that that was an excellent point. So I wanted to make sure that it made it into yeah. this video. So that also kind of creates this fluctuation in the trend. Like is AVOD coming up? Is it coming down? And we know it's coming down because AVOD can be boring. It can not hit the target audience that you need. Yeah, it's difficult because when you go to an OTT uh, service, if I put aside uh, Disney, Netflix, and anyways, they don't do advertisement, right? Because it's premium. When you, you are a little bit uh, behind that, you have a brand, so people are coming to your service because you, you uh, offer, I don't know, something specific in sport or something specific in one topic. So you reduce the scope of the brand that can advertise because you are really legitimate with one topic. So if you are in sports, anything which is not or very far away from sport as an ad, is just decreasing your, uh, the value of your service and it's tainting your brand as a service. So maybe in your business, if I, I consider 100% the capability of ads, maybe you just get 10% of the advertisers. That makes sense to you. And then the, the cake is quite small, <laughs> you know? And these advertisers, they, may, they will maybe not come because it's too small for them or they have it. That's, that's uh, the complexity today. And that actually brings us, unfortunately, at time for this particular mini sure. clip. So Cedric, I have to thank you for coming on. And, and to our viewers, Wherever you're watching this, we're going to, as always, include more information in the comments or in the description section below, wherever you're viewing this, be it on social media or YouTube. Uh, we'll have a bunch of stuff linked right here in the exact post. So find more info there. And we look forward to chatting with you again soon. Have a nice day, Cedric. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.